It's good. It was uh, it was a really good evening for us because the goal scorers couldn't have it couldn't have been three better players for us who wanted who needed a goal for their confidence. So they'll be better for that. A couple of assists for a couple of them as well. Um, I thought that Asani and Chase and Wyatt did fantastic as well. So it's it's been a good night for us because. The guys, some of the guys needed minutes, and some of the guys needed a little bit of a confidence booster with in front of goal, and we got all of that this evening. Only four players on the bench, but you actually see the team less uh, dinged up than scoring against. Do you feel like this is the time for you to catch up? Well, it, it is, and you know, this part of your course you want to win, but now we've got a game again. Now that Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe on the road, which is never ideal, but because uh, there's a there's a few of them who, who could do with maybe two or three days of completely nothing and then four or five days of a build-up to a game. But, you know, we'll give the guys a couple of days off and see where they are because there's a lot of tired bodies within there. Specific to that, why, why play Angelo, Darwin and Finley and then let Ozzy, Coleman, uh, Paul? Because none of them were fit. And that's the reason we didn't put Miggy on. Miggy's had a cough strain for a couple of weeks and... You know, it was one of them this evening that we had to do what we, we had to do. And I thought that, the, you know, Darwin and uh, Angelo would benefit from another 90. And as it's proved, you know, Darwin's got a couple of goals and I'm sure that'll help his confidence. Angelo thought did some really good stuff and looked dangerous all evening. So, you know, as I say, it couldn't have really been a better evening for us. Well, we, you know, like everybody probably in the league has seen what Darwin's been capable of. You know, he'd be the first to say that he's, he's not been at the level that you expect for him. Um, as I said last week to the press, that being a forward, sometimes, you know, you have barren spells. The important thing is to keep getting in there, keep, keep being confident in your ability. Them two goals, believe me, he'll do his confidence a world of good, as they will An uh, Angelo. And we know that if we can get too fit... And two confident uh, players like Angelo and Darwin, they will be a handful for, for most teams. How does it feel to win uh, finally against the Sporting Kansas City in advance to the US? Well, we're, we're pleased. We're pleased to go through. Um, you know, it's uh, we've had some strange results against Kansas. We've had a couple of really good home wins and a couple of good idings on the road down there. You know, we know what to expect. And, you know, they, they, they put out the strongest lineup they could. You know, because they've got they've had injuries this year, so I, I I always take a lot of satisfaction if I can get a result against Peter Vermeer's team. I have enormous respect for him and that club. I think they're probably one of the best role models for most clubs in the league. They they get incredible value out of their players, and um, I'm I've no doubt that come the end of the season they're going to be in and around the playoffs again. Did you see the sign of relief from any of those scores? Well, they're, they're, they're pleased in there and they're happy. And I think the most important thing, the rest of the group are happy for them. 
you know, it's it, you, you know, it's silly. They know that, you know, they've had a lot of chances of late and they haven't taken them. And it's, uh, but you know, one thing that we do know is that we we do have t two quality players there. Now we have to hope this is a run for them. You know, we've. Uh, I, I just I was really pleased with the younger guys this evening. You know, Masoni in midfield. He's played left back, right back. He's tonight. He's at times he's holding, and other times he's attacking. And and I thought Chase sort of carried on from where he he did on Saturday. He came on and and gave us something in that left back position in Colorado. And I thought he he did the same again this evening. Yeah, we, we've always thought ultimately that's where his best position is going to be. You know, we have to decide as when do we need him in there, when do we play two, when we play three in there. I can probably guarantee that if we play three, he's going to be one of them. You know, because he's um, he's got a bit of everything, really has. I know you have a lot of respect for the tournament, but in general, do you look at it this season as uh, something you can realistically win? Is that a goal of yours? Yes, we can. I, I, I said this to you before. I don't think when you go on the road, you know it's always going to be tough. It is in this league. If we can get some ties here, I think we can beat anybody in the league here. So you know, let's see where we are after the draw, and see where that leaves us. But uh, we will treat the tournament with the respect that it deserves, because it's a strange tournament that teams put sort of mixed teams in in the early rounds. But as soon as it gets to quarters and semis, you see that all of a sudden it's back to normal and full strength teams there because of the prize at the end of it and we'll treat it with that respect Coach uh, it seemed like most of the goals came from kind of some through balls is that something you guys prepared for throughout the week or is that just you know, you well I think that our, our um, I talk about this all the time when you're defending deep in your own half the first pass is always the most important and we did that well tonight our, it was probably the, the third pass before the goal but it was up, back and through, and then we started to get runners. I think Ethan went in two or three times down the side, and we got Angelo in two or three times. So it's... Uh, no, I, I was really pleased with a, with a lot of the stuff this evening. Thoughts behind putting Darwin out of the tonight, and do you feel like that helped him get into better positions tonight, and do you feel like that's the position you want to play in that going forward? We, we could do. We could. You know, it's something that we've spoke about, and, you know, it, the, the problem is if you play in, in a with only two central midfield players against Kansas. Invariably, you're a man short because they play always play three in there, and now they're starting to put the white guys in there a little bit more than they have in the past. So now you've got four in there. So we, we, we thought at least we'll get three in there and we'll match them up, and I thought we worked, it worked really well. You know, First off, especially, we must have pinched so many balls pressing in there off of the field. They get out occasionally, and then you, you leave yourself light, but... That's because they're a good team. So was that high press kind of, you guys press the team high throughout the entire game, was that kind of strategy coming in? Yes, it, it, obviously you have to pick your moments, but you know, we, we, once it went to centre-backs and we'd cut the three midfield players off, then it was a case of everybody pressing and, you know, as, as I say, I thought it worked really well in the first half. Any more for Coach? Thank you. <laughs>